University Challenge. Asking the questions, Amol Branchard. Hello and welcome to University Challenge. Tonight, two more teams will be playing their first of a possible three quarterfinals. This stage of the competition is double elimination, meaning teams must win twice to progress to the semis and have a maximum of three chances to do so. The team from UCL are here having beaten King's College Cambridge in round one and Hartford College Oxford in round two. They look comfortable against King's despite a late rally from the Cambridge team. But their match against Hartford was in the balance until the final third when UCL took six of the last seven starters. Along the way, they've cleaned up bonus sets on chess notation, optics and Greek mythology, but revealed they don't know much about contemporary ballet. Their average score per game is just shy of 210. Let's meet them once again. Hi, I'm James Hall. I'm from North Finchley in London and I'm studying law. Hi, I'm Ali Ezzet Dust. I'm from Portugal and Azerbaijan and I'm studying for a Masters in Intellectual History. And their captain? Hi, I'm Tayana Saw. I'm from North London and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Jacob Finlay. I'm originally from Cranley in Surrey and I'm studying a Masters of Public Administration. The team from Christchurch Oxford had to come from behind to win their first game against the University of Southampton. Their second round match was a tense, low-scoring affair against Emmanuel College Cambridge in which both teams struggled with their bonuses, but Christchurch were better on the buzzer. They've shown a bit of a tendency so far to talk themselves out of correct answers, but have still been very impressive on European geography, ancient history and pop music. And they have an average score per game of nearly 170 points. Let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Eliza Dean. I'm from Edinburgh and I'm studying French and classics. Hi, I'm Malika Gorgiana. I'm from Leeds and I'm reading for a PhD in astrophysics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Arthur Watson. I'm from Cardiff and I'm reading for a PhD in Spanish. Hi, I'm Elliot Lowe, I'm from Thames Ditton in Surrey, and I'm studying classics. Well, you all know how this works, and some of you look a bit nervous, so uh, let's get straight to it. Fingers on buzzers then, here's your first starter for ten. In the titles of works by the Peruvian economist Hernando de Soto and the Polish-born revolutionary Rosa Luxemburg, what single word follows the mystery of and the accumulation of? The same term appears in the title of a 2013 book by the French economist... <laughs> UCL is at dust. Capital. Capital is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses then, UCL, the three questions on architecture. A UNESCO citation states, it is generally recognised that this city has the finest collection of Art Nouveau buildings in Europe. To which national capital do these words refer? I think it's either Riga or Vilnius. It's one of the Ooh. Baltic. Riga, I think. Riga. I think Riga. OK. Riga? Riga? It is Riga, well done. Art Nouveau locations in which Western European capital include the Stocklet House and major townhouses of the architect Victor Horta? Yeah. Brussels. 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 Correct. Which European capital gives its name to a secessionist art movement associated with Art Nouveau, whose leading figures included Joseph Hoffman... Vienna. And... Vienna is correct, yeah. No start the question now. The Bekenstein-Hawking formula shows that the surface area of a black hole's event horizon is linearly proportional to what other property? This formula contains the speed of light, Boltzmann's constant, Planck's constant and Newton's gravitational constant and helped lay the groundwork for the study of black hole thermodynamics. Anyone? No, I'll tell you. It's entropy. Let's have another start of the question now. I need the title of a work here. This is a quote. Don't you think this theme has an insistent quality? I'm going to try to repeat it a number of times without any development, gradually increasing the orchestra as best I can. Those words of Maurice Ravel refer to which well-known piece of classic... Ah. Christchurch Low. Bolero. Bolero is correct, yes. <laughs> it's advice for you, Christchurch, on marsupial mammals. The order Diprotodontia includes kangaroos, wallabies, koalas and what other animal whose species include common as well as both northern and southern hairy-nosed varieties? Wombat. Wombat. Uh, wombat. Correct. The family Notorictidae includes two extant species that are commonly referred to as the marsupial equivalent of what other animal? In part, this is because they lack functioning eyes and external ears. Oh, um, like, like, like moles. Mole rat, moles. Yeah, like moles. Yeah. Moles. Uh, uh, moles? Moles is correct. Finally, the order Dasi Euromorphia encompasses almost all carnivorous marsupials, including quolls, numbats, and what other species. In 2020, it was reintroduced to the Australian mainland, having been absent from there for around 3,000 years. Um, was, would that be a... Um, Tasmanian devil, maybe? Tasmanian devil. Yeah, or like, what's, what's the one that look, like, looks really happy, like a quokka? Is that, is that a, a, a carnivore? Yeah, yeah. yeah, is that a car Tasmanian devil sounds... Maybe. Um, yeah. Tasmanian devil. Correct. 
Let's start the question now. What five-letter word links all the following? In physics, a virtual particle introduced in order to protect gauge invariants, such as Fadeyev Popov fields. In biology, a cell that has undergone cell death but retains its underlying architecture, such as the cytoplasm. And in philosophy, the first word of a four-word expression coined by Gilbert Ryle to expose the shortcomings of... You cell is at dust. Ghost. Ghost is correct, yes. Your bonus is then the three questions on world events of the 1590s. First, the Battle of Tondibi took place in 1591 in which present-day country? It was a decisive victory from the Moroccan forces in their invasion of the Songhai Empire. I think it's Mali, because... Mali? Mali is correct. The forces of which Mughal Emperor conquered Sindh and Kandahar during the 1590s? Wouldn't be Akbar. Akbar, isn't it? No, I think it might actually... Okay, Akbar did a lot, Try Akbar. Akbar? Correct. Akbar the first, Akbar the great. Finally, in the Imjin War of the 1590s, Ming Dynasty China aided which country in repelling large-scale invasion attempts by an island neighbour? So it could be Korea, Korea, Korea against Japan. Like yeah, Korea. So Korea. Korea. It was Korea. Yeah, Japan were the invaders. Yes. So let's start the question now. The Disasters of War is a series of prints. UCL Hall. Francisco Goya. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus is then UCL. Three questions on place names in French and English. Which department? of northern France shares its name with the French name for the Strait of Dover? So it's not La Manche, is it? Yeah, no, that, that's, that's uh, the English Channel. Is that uh, the same thing as a Strait? No, it can't might be. be, right? We yeah. could, it could be La Manche. Okay. La Manche? No, it was Pas de Calais. Oh. The Bay of Biscay is known in French by the name of which historical region? Aquitaine, Aquitaine you yeah. think, or Gascony? Probably Aquitaine. Yeah, try it. Aquitaine? No, it's Gascony or Gascony. Oh, Sorry, Jacob. Finally, what is the English name for the body of water usually known in French as Lac Le Mans? So that might be the channel. What's the no, channel? That, La Manche is the channel, I think. Yeah, that's true. La Manche. I don't know. Just I guess a tiny body like Lac Le Mans. Like no, it's something in France, water. right? So try it. I don't know. Uh, I, I go for English Channel. English Channel. No, that's Lake Geneva. Uh -huh. Let's start a question now, and it's a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a detail from a national flag. For ten points, identify the country on whose flag it appears. UCL Hall. Croatia. Yes, correct. And the Croatian national flag displays the earliest shield of Croatia, bearing a star and crescent. Your picture bonuses, then, UCL, are three more flags and emblems that feature a star and crescent, all from outside the Islamic world. First, this is the coat of arms of which British city? Like, oh, my. Newcastle. Yeah, that would make mm, sense. Because okay. the unicorns. Newcastle? No, it's Portsmouth. Okay. Secondly, this is the logo of which English sports club? Oh, Saracens, rugby. Yeah. Saracens. Correct. Finally, what country's flag is this? Uh, uh, Moldova. 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 It is Moldova, yes. <laughs> Let's start the question now. Regularly cited within its field, what is the full title of the influential 1968 work by Noam Chomsky and Maurice Haller that applied Chomsky's transformational theories of generative linguistics to the field of phonology? It is often abbreviated to SPE. UCL Finlay. Speech and partial expression? No. Christchurch Watson. Sound and phonetic evolution. No, it's a sound pattern of English. Now, let's start the question now. I need a two-word term here. In July 1988, during the world's longest continuously running laboratory experiment, the seventh instance of what event... Uh, Christchurch Watson. Pitch drop. Pitch drop is correct, yeah. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus is Christchurch. Your three questions on a method of literary criticism. In a work of 1929, what name did I.A. Richards give to an exercise that he set his students involving close reading of a short text presented without any contextual information. It significantly influenced the later American school of new criticism. It's probably blind. It's like, um, I don't know, like... Blind, what, like blind, blind criticism? Blind I'm not criticism, sure. I have no blind idea. Blind um, criticism. Oh, it's, it's just practical criticism. Oh. Seven Types of Ambiguity is a work of 1930 by which critic, a student of Richard's, it demonstrated how close textual analysis could be used to develop a theory of literary meaning? Mm, um, not a clue. No idea. No idea. Um, Derrida. Your mates who study English are going to crucify you for this. Uh, that was Empson, William Empson. Finally, a collection of exercises in close reading. Cleanth Brooks's 1947 work, The Well Wrought Urn, takes its title from The Canonization, a work by which poet? It was published posthumously in 1633. Is it going to be Dunn? Dun, yeah. uh, John Dunn. Got there in the end. It was John Dunn, yes. <laughs> Let's start the question now. What short word links the name given in English to an area of the Western Russian Empire established in 1791? Ah. 
Christchurch Watson. Pale. Pale is correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus is Christchurch. Your three questions on Malay culinary terms. First, what short Malay word is used broadly to denote various types of spicy noodle soup originating in Peranakan cuisine? Its etymology is disputed, but most likely comes from the Persian name for a particular type of vermicelli. Snipes. Vermicelli is like in Persian. I don't know how that would. Yeah, how that. Come on. Try reshta. Nominate Gorgiana. Reshta. No, it's laxa. Second, in a culinary context, the Malay word lemak, a general term for fat, specifically refers to the creaminess imparted to dishes like laksa by the addition of what ingredient? Coconut. Butter or something. Yeah, coconut milk in a lot of words. Coconut milk? Yes, correct. Meaning fried, what Malay word may follow mi or noodles and nasi or rice to give the names of popular dishes in both Malaysian and Indonesian cuisine? Goreng. Goreng. Uh, goreng. Goreng is correct, yes. Let's start the question now. From a Latin word for a type of weapon, what word can come before suture to describe the region where the two parietal bones of the skull meet? More generally, it is used in anatomy to describe the division of the human body into left and right sides. Use the saw. Septum. No. Price Church Watson. Uh, gladius. No, it was sagittal. Let's start the question now. Prime numbers P, such that 2P plus 1 is also prime, are named after which mathematician, born in Paris in 1776, who utilised their properties to study Fermat's last theorem? In addition to number theory, she contributed... UCL, is it dust? Germain. Is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is UCL, three questions on dimensionless quantities in physics. First, named for an Irish mathematician and physicist, which number is calculated as the ratio between inertial and viscous forces in a fluid? I think that's the Reynolds number. Reynolds number? Correct. Commonly represented by a lowercase alpha, what dimensionless constant has an approximate value of 1 over 137? Lowercase alpha. Could this be Graham's number? No, Graham's not massive. OK. Plank, no, I don't know. Plank's no, yeah. H. OK. Not too big for Boltzmann, right? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, another man, no, Herbert. <laughs> Come on. Herbert David's number. <laughs> no, it's fine structure constant. Finally, the dimensionless constant with a value of approximately 1836, or 1,836, is the ratio of the masses of which two particles, one a baryon and one a lepton? So it's As a constant. Elect no, one is the... Proton and the electron. The electron's a small one. Okay. Pro Take proton it. and electron. Proton and electron is correct, yes. <laughs> Let's have a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear an excerpt from a piano quintet. For ten points, name its composer. Franz Chancellor. Schumann. No, and it goes across. You can hear a bit more if you want UCL. Hall. Uh, it's wrong, but Philip Glass? It is wrong, I'll tell you, it's Brahms. Uh, another starter question now. This is a quote. Fedra dies on stage, and at the end of Bajazé, the Ottoman princess Atalide stabs herself. But in general, in his plays, murders, suicides and other catastrophes are merely narrated... Christ Church Watson. Racine. Racine is correct, yeah, well done. <laughs> a moment ago, you heard part of the scherzo from Brahms' piano quintet in F minor. For your bonuses, you'll hear excerpts from three more 19th century piano quintets. Name the composer of each. Firstly... 19th century. Sounds early, maybe. Like... Like... Beethoven. Schubert. Oh. Secondly... Schumann. I'm trying Maybe to think of names. Like I don't know. Is this 19th century? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Uh, Mendelssohn, maybe? Mendelssohn. Uh, Mendelssohn. No, that was Vorjak. Finally. Strauss. Yeah. Uh, Strauss. No. 
It was Schumann. Oh. <laughs> Another side of question now. After a historical name of a kingdom and female warriors of Greek origin, what two-word name was given to the all-woman regiment that served from... Prince Chancellor. Amazonian. No, you lose five points. You can hear a bit more of the question, UCL. The all-woman regiment that served from 1600 to 1904 in what is now Benin. And whose story was... Adapt UCL, is it dust? The Dahomey Amazons. The Dahomey Amazons is correct, yes. Three questions on the reign of Charles II. In 1660, which earldom did Charles bestow on Edward Hyde, the Lord Chancellor? This name is often used of a code or body of legislation that limited the activities of Protestant dissenters. I don't know historical law at all. So well, it's probably more religious, isn't well, it? Isn't, there, isn't like Marlborough, Marlborough law is a mm. thing, so it could be, and the Marlboroughs go mm. back for ages. But the Churchill's not Hyde's name wise, but I don't know. Oh, it would have Maybe, changed over like, a while. It's, probably, a, it's like, probably like a church town, isn't it? If it's going to be. Think, and so like the Earl like of York, Calvary, Wells. Wells. Wells? No, it's Clarendon. Sharing his name with an act of 1559, which act required clergy to consent to the rites and ceremonies in the 1662 Book of Common Prayer? Right, sharing his name. God knows. Say, some, mm, say your favourite words. something like the recusal law? Yeah. 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 The recusal law? No, it's the act of uniformity. Finally, Clarendon fell from power after military setbacks in a war of 1665 to 67. Which commercial rival of England was the main adversary in this war? The Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. Correct. So I'll start the question now. Which dense metallic element is extremely rare in the Earth's crust but is found in much greater concentrations at the Chicxulub crater in Mexico, suggesting that a meteorite landing there caused the mass extinction... Christchurch, Gorgiana. Silica? No, and I'm afraid you lose five points. Mass extinction of the dinosaurs. In the periodic table, this element appears between osmium and platinum. UCL Hall. Iridium. Iridium is correct, oh. yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, UCL, are three questions on national mottos on the seals, emblems and coats of arms of African countries. First, which member state of the African Union has a motto often given in English as Homeland, Liberty, Progress, rendered in an Austronesian language? If it's Austria, it could be Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah. Yeah. Madagascar. Correct. Which country's national coat of arms bears two mottos, one in French and the other in Sango? Sango, uh, like... Oh, Gabon. So West Africa. Africa. Yeah, like Gabon, Senegal. Gabon? Senegal. 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 Yeah, it's the Central African Republic. Which country's national emblem features a dromedary, an olive branch, and the country's name in Arabic, English, and Tigrinya? I think Ethiopia. 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 Wait, no, you, Ethiopia. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia has... or Eritrea? Mm, but... If, I think okay. I'm Ethiopia. Ethiopia, then. Ethiopia. Should have gone with Eritrea. Oh, Bad luck. Let us start the question. Plenty of time for you here, Christchurch. I need a single word here. In computing, what is the smallest amount of information required to encode a character of text coined by IBM's Werner Buchholz in 1956? It was derived from a word that can mean a small amount. And today... <laughs> Christchurch, what in? Bit. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. And today almost always comprises eight bits. You see how is it dust? Bite. Byte is correct, yes. Your bonuses, UCL, are on words ending in a specific four-letter Latin or Romance diminutive. In each case, give the word from the definition. First, a stocky, crepuscular South American rodent related to the Viscacha. Now protected, they were hunted almost to extinction for their unusually soft and thick fur. Um, uh, no, um, it's not in America. It's a rodent the la, the with la fur. Alpaca. Wait, Ro rodent. Rodent. <laughs> did you say rodents? Yeah. 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 No, it's a rodent. Yeah. I have no uh, idea. I hesitate to say capybara. No, but... <laughs> capybara. No, it's a chinchilla. Oh. A variety of pale, dry sherry. Its name is often said to come from the Spanish for chamomile or possibly small apple. So it ends by... So I I man 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 was yeah. small apple. Well, man man manzanilla. Yes. Yes. Manzan uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. manzanilla. Yeah. Illa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so manzanilla. Manzanilla. Manzanilla, yeah, it's delicious. Finally, the bone of the human skull that includes the palatine process and the alveolar process. And in Ila. Uh, maxilla. Maxilla is correct, yes. <laughs> Let's start the question now. Democratically elected since a change in its constitution in 2008, the chief please is the parliament of what small island, part of the bailiwick of Guernsey? UCL Finlay. Sark. Sark is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is UCL, are three questions on physiology. What six letter term denotes involuntary and near instantaneous actions mediated by neural pathways in the central nervous system? Reflex. Correct. What response is observed in the glabella reflex or glabella tap sign? Glabella's knee hip jerk. Thing. No, I'm afraid knee jerk is wrong. The answer is blinking. Finally, in the ankle jerk reflex, the foot is dorsiflexed. Tapping of which tendon evokes this response? Is this the Choose knee? your favourite tendon. 
Yeah. Although, no. Oh. Would it be a tendon? Oh, Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon is correct, yes. Let's start a question now. It's a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. For ten points, name the artist. Franz Church Watson. Caravaggio. No. You see how is it dust? Velasquez. No, it's Raphael. We'll take your picture bonuses when we get the starter right. This is a quote. He is truth itself and honour itself, notwithstanding his out-of-the-way notions about religion. These words of Lord Byron refer to which friend and fellow poet? You see Hall. Percy Shelley. It is P.B. Shelley, yeah. <laughs> your picture bonuses, then. Uh, that was Raphael's self-portrait with a friend you saw a moment ago, and your picture bonuses are three more self-portraits with friends. Name the artist in each case. First... Oh, is that like Rem mm. Rembrandt? Mm. I was thinking more Italian, mm. but I don't know. Titian? Yeah, it could be Titian. And Titian? Yeah, he'd be quite young, but yeah, sure. Yeah, Titian? No, it's Rubens. Secondly... Um. Ooh. That was French. Renoir? Mm. No. Mm. Wait, which one of them's the painter and which one of them's the friend? I don't think we're going to work out if we know Okay, either. try Ren. I mean, try yeah, it could be Renoir. Renoir? No, that was Edgar Degas. And finally... Oh, Ooh, this is this is something Old Italian. Italian. Oh, that yeah. or... No, none of them look like. Come on, Caravaggio. Caravaggio. No, it's Titian. Right, another start the question. Meanings of what three-letter word include an individual floret around the edge of a flower of a daisy, any of the cartilaginous fishes of the superorder Batoidia, and the straight line in which light or other electromagnetic radiation travels. <laughs> Christchurch D. Ray. Ray is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Christchurch, are on the Horn Bostel Sax instrument classification system. Each answer ends with the same five letter suffix. First, what class of instruments is defined as those that, when struck, produce sound through vibration of their own substance? An example would be the xylophone. Percussion. 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 No, it's idiophones. Oh. Secondly, what class of instruments can be defined as those that make use of a vibrating skin in order to produce sound? A commonly cited example is the kazoo. Velophone or something? Yeah. The phone. I don't know, because the element is... Velophone? No, it's phones. Oh. Finally, what class of instruments makes use of a vibrating string in order to produce sound? Vibraphone? That's an instrument, though, so it won't be that. Chordophone. Chordophone, yeah? Chordophone's correct, yes. Let's start the question now. George II's participation in the Battle of Dettingen, the last occasion a British monarch led an army in battle, took place during which war? Christ Church Watson. The Thirty Years' War. No. Use hell, is it dust? The War of the Austrian Succession. Is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is UCR, the three questions on fathers and sons in Greek mythology. First, in Virgil's Aeneid, which son of Achilles, also known as Pyrrhus, kills the elderly Trojan king Priam at an altar, thus committing sacrilege? Neoptolemus. Neoptolemus. Correct. In some versions of the fall of Troy, Neoptolemus also kills Astyanax, the infant son of which warrior married to Andromache? Hector. Hector. Hector is correct, yes. Which sea takes his name from the father of Theseus? This king of Athens killed himself when he saw black sailed ships returning from Crete, mistakenly believing Theseus so, to have been slain by the Minotaur. Aegeus. So oh, Aegeus, Aegeus or Aegean? Uh, the sea I guess you need Aegean. 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 No, I'm sorry, I, it's harsh, but we have to take your first answer. And we needed the sea, and it's the Aegean Sea. Now, let's start the question now. Being the Greek for latter first, what two word name is given to the figure of speech whereby ah. natural. Christ Church Low. Hustron Proteron. Is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Christ Church, are on footballers who have been named CAF African Footballer of the Year. Name each player from the description. First, a striker who is Cameroon's all time leading goal scorer and, as of 2023, oh. the overall top scorer at the Africa Cup of Nations. Between 2004 and 2009, he won three league titles uh, with Barcelona. Samuel Eto. Correct. Secondly, a winger who won the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations as captain of the Algerian national team. He played for Leicester City between. Uh, Riyad Mahrez. Correct. Finally, an Ivorian midfielder who played for Barcelona from 2007 to 2010 and for Manchester City from 2010 Yaya to 2010. Yaya Toure. Correct. Now, the start of question now. What abstract noun is the third? and final word in the title of Meg Wolitzer's 2018 novel about the relationship between a student called Greer and her feminist mentor, Faith. It is also the one-word title of Jane Austen's final novel, published posthumously... Christchurch Dean. Persuasion. Correct, yes. 
Your bonuses, Christchurch, are on the International Booker Prize. First, in 2016, the International Booker Prize was awarded to Korean author Han Kang and her translator Deborah Smith for which novel? Vegetarian. Their third collaboration, The White Book, was vegetarian. shortlisted for the prize. Vegetarian. Prize. Yes, the vegetarian is correct. Second, which Polish author won the 2018 prize? Her book, Flights, was originally published in Poland 11 years earlier before being translated by the oh, US writer Borska. Jennifer Croft. Oh, is it Olga Simborska? Olga Simborska. Um, Olga Simborska. No, it's Olga Tokarczuk. Tokarczuk yeah. Finally, David Sorry. Diop won the 2021 prize for his story of Senegalese soldiers in the First World War. Translated by the poet Anna Moskovakis, its English title is At Night All Blood Is What? Is it black? Um, black? Black is correct. Yes, let's start a question now. A 1977 paper by Brent Tully and Richard Fisher proposed their relationship between the rotation velocity and absolute luminosity of which astronomical objects, allowing more accurate measurement of their distances? Use your is it dust? Comets. No. Ah. French Trench Gorgiana. Pulsars. No, it's spiral galaxies. Now let's start a question. In music theory, what is the common name given to the sixth degree of a diatonic scale? Ah. French Trench Low. Submedian. Submedian is correct. Yeah, well done. <laughs> your bonus is Christ. Your three questions on Jacobus Henricus van Toff, the first winner of the Nobel Prize in chemistry. In 1874, van Toff published a pamphlet suggesting that the bond arrangement of the carbon atom was tetrahedral, which explained the optical activity of carbon compounds. This was one of the first major publications in which sub-discipline of chemistry? Organic, maybe. Organic chemistry. No, stereochemistry. An equation named after Van Toff links the change in enthalpy and temperature in a reaction to which constant? Oh, oh, um, um, no, it wouldn't be that. Uh, it's too late. Is it Van der Waals? No. Boltzmann. It's the equilibrium constant. Van Toff won the 1901 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on which phenomenon, created when two solutions of different concentrations are separated by a semi-permeable membrane? Oh, yeah. Is that like concentration? What is that? Semi permeable membrane. Oh, the, the only time I've heard Osmosis. It is osmosis, yeah. yes. Let's start a question. Name either of the yeah. only two. And at the goal, Christ Church College of Oxford have 130, and UCL have 200. <laughs> Guys, you were so close with. It's going to be incredibly frustrating watching that, but luckily it's not the last. Lucky for you, it's not the last we see of you, but I thought you were really unlucky with some of those starters. And then there were several bonus rounds where you were just <laughs> fighting yourself because you, you knew the answers. Um, bad luck, but we shall see you again. This is not the end, so you get another chance. Um, and you're up against an incredibly strong team. UCL 200 at this stage of the competition against a really top team is terrific. You're feeling relieved. You look exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have to come back and do it again. Thank you so much for a wonderful performance and another tight game. I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match. But until then, it is goodbye from Christchurch College, Oxford. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from UCL. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.